The Kazakhstani flags are flying here as they've turned out to support their fighter, Gennady Golovkin, as Steve Smoger calls them in. Please, by my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. God bless you both. All right. Final instructions of Steve Smoger. Again, 10-point must scoring system. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Referee or, in the case of New York, the doctor may stop the fight in case of an accidental foul. Go to the scorecards after four. Picked out in the white trunks is Gennady Golovkin. Gabriel Rosado is in the primarily blue, red, white, and blue trunks. Golovkin attacks right away. Golovkin, a very, very heavy puncher. 21 knockouts and 24 wins. Rosado has uh, 13 knockouts and his 21 wins. Rosado on the catching side right now as Golovkin has started out very fast. Yeah, he did, and that's what uh, Golovkin needs to do. Cut off the ring, work the body, and Rosado needs to pick his spots, you know, fight him from the outside. He, he, he's, he's pretty big for a middleweight. I noticed him, he's very big at the weigh-ins yesterday. That's sort of a strange stance where he has his right hand sometimes out in front of his left hand, even though he's fighting as an orthodox fighter with his left foot out in front. Maybe that's to try to catch some of the Golovkin power shots. I don't know. So far, Golovkin is forcing the fight. Golovkin has a ton of power, and Gabriel Rosado should respect that early. Doesn't need to mix with this guy, but in the meantime, he's got to land some shots. Yeah, I agree. You don't need to mix it up early, especially early. And what I like about Rosado is just his confidence. You know, he said uh, yesterday, you know, I don't, let, I don't get wind up, I don't, and the whole hype about Golovkin, about it. He's a power puncher. I guess I'll find out when I'm in there with him, and I'll make adjustments. I know what, what to do, and hopefully he is able to make adjustments. Because when he does feel that Golovkin power, he hopefully doesn't go into a nutshell and just try to go into survival mode where he's just trying to survive here in the fight. So far, Rule, he hasn't felt the power of Golovkin no. yet. So he will take more chances as, you know, the early threat goes by. And if you take an early chance with this guy, you can be on the canvas just as quick. Right hand caught his chin. I don't know if uh, Rosado felt the full power of it. But Rosado, very, very confident when we talked to him yesterday. Hey, he's long, he's rangy. So far, I mean, he's not winning this round, but, I mean, he's doing what he's supposed to. Using his uh, footwork, movement, trying to establish his dad, picking the shots. Rosano in the blue trunk, sliding down to his left. He's a native of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ganadei Golovkin, of course, as you know, is from Kazakhstan. All the tattoos are on the body of Gabe Rosado. Rosado has an interesting manager and uh, a trainer in Billy Briscoe. I'm very confident about what they thought they could do with Golovkin. And they didn't seem to really respect the punching power of Golovkin because they're not convinced by the guys that he's fought so far that he's all that. And we're going to find out tonight. So far in this round, just based on uh, aggressiveness, you got to go with Golovkin in the closing seconds of round number one. That's it. Billy Briscoe giving one uh, example of what he thinks his man should do. One of the better young trainers and a real historian of Yeah, he knows his history, yeah. yeah I he noticed really does. Uh, him yesterday at the meetings that he don't want Rosado to stand there. Give him angles, angles and moves. Right. All right, this is round number two, the Colonel Bob Sheridan with Raul El Dimante Marquez. And also with us tonight is Christina Poncher, adding color to our telecast from time to time. Our principal's in there, Gennady Golovkin in the solid white trunks with a little bit of blue trim, and Gabriel Rosado in the red white with blue. This is round two, scheduled for 12. The IBO and the WBA middleweight championships are held by Golovkin. Rosado would like to lift those tonight. Rosado trying to get the angles, but so far not able to land anything. This guy Golovkin's pretty slick though, you know, he cuts him off. Coming straight at him when he moves, he reestablishes himself to keep himself in front when he comes in to nail him with shots. And you'll see as the rounds go, you know, even this second round, Golovkin's already kind of closing the distance. He's getting closer, and I think that's when he gets closer, that's when Rosado's going to feel his power shots. 
The lobster will work the body, he'll chop away at the body and take advantage of that. He's a very experienced fighter. He used that left hand like a, he was hitting a speed bag and then all of a sudden he drops the right hand. Takes his attention away with the left and then throws a hellacious right hand, but he didn't quite land as flushly on the face of Rosado. Does Rosado have a little slip on the left eye? I think he does. Yeah, I think I see some, yeah, I see some blood there. Yeah, I, think, I think Rosado is cut. Yeah, and definitely by a punch. But we'll have to see how serious that is. And for the fourth time tonight, we're going to cover up our next house. Uppercut, solid uppercut by Golovkin. If Rosado realizes he's cut yet, he misses all his shots. Golovkin does a nice job moving that head around, making it hard, and very hard target for Rosado. And you know, Colonel, every time you miss shots, the way Rosado's missing the shots, you're wasting energy. You know, he's getting tired, and then you got a, a big, strong guy like Golovkin that's on him, and he's pressuring him. This is only the second round. He's already cut, he's closing the gap. And Golovkin reminds me of that Energizer Bunny. He just keeps coming and coming and coming. Yes. He, he, hasn't land, he hasn't landed anything big yet, but he's just right on top of you all the time. You don't get a chance to breathe. Faints, moves the head. He does a lot of things well. You see why the, everybody's so high on Golovkin. There's Rosado who tries to do something, when he walks into a right hand. that caught him pretty good on the jaw. So in the second round, Golovkin wins that, and he also, in the process, cuts Rosado's left eye. Here we see Golovkin landed a nice right, nice counter right. And we see him just getting closer and closing that gap. It's only the second round. Really relaxing there. We'll slow down. Okay. Water bend. They know, Abel Sanchez knows, he's an experienced fighter, and I'm a, I mean, trainer, you know, back in his Terry Norris, the Terry Norris days, yeah, Abel Sanchez. Right? Make sure you lower those shots, all right? Okay, all right. Abel's a great trainer, yes. great friend of mine for many, many years, over 25 right, years, Abel, I would Abel, say. get out of there, Abel. Steve Smoga hunts him out of there. Also another great friend and a great referee. So here we go to round number three. Golovkin, I thought, won the first two rounds. And we'll see how it unfolds here. Rosado trying to land shots, but everything seems to be falling a bit short because Golovkin just keeps the pressure on him, constant pressure. Yeah, just not enough zapping uh, Rosado's punches. And look at the difference in knockout percentage on your screen. Golovkin 87% to 61. That's 60 or 80, I can't tell. 61% to uh, 87%. That tells you how powerful Golovkin is. You see, uh, now Rosado's kind of, he's standing there more. He's, he's going to trade more. He's being forced to trade with Golovkin. That's when he's in a danger zone. He's in a real danger zone if he tries this early to trade with him. But Golovkin, and the problem with Golovkin, not that he's had that many fights that have gone the distance, but you know, this kid is in such magnificent physical condition, he doesn't wear down. He's got the perfect body style for a professional fighter. This guy had a ton of amateur fights and has adjusted to the pro ranks marvelously with his 24 0 record and 21 knockouts. That's the halfway mark now in the third round. All Golovkin outboxing and Gabe Rosado. Oh, nice one two there. Solid yeah. right by Golovkin. Oh. Did he buckle the legs a yes. little bit? I don't know. Rosado trying to hang in there. He get clipped again by the right hand. Now he tries to get away from Golovkin. Plans, comes with the uppercut. That you just don't get to seem to land a clean shot on Golovkin. That's another thing. I agree, and look at that, Golovkin just running right over, running, running right through Rosado, should I say. And I tell you, Rosado, he's a big, he's a big dude. I saw him, like, I go back to the way he's, he's, a, he's, he's tall, he's, he looks strong. Yeah, this guy's hey. an inch and a half taller. Yes. 
and he's got a two and a half inch advantage in reach and you wouldn't know it by the way Golovkin has no trouble hitting it. Two good shots upstairs by Golovkin. Rosetta tries to fight off the ropes but nothing lands again. 25 seconds to go in this the third round of the fight. So far it's all Golovkin. Now Rosado's out. He's got a nose bleed. He's bleeding from his nose. He's got that little cut. Tried to land the right hand. There's a little bit of puffiness underneath the eye of Golovkin. Golovkin just bring Joey, Joey. Get out, so an Joey. interesting night of boxing here in New York. We had Sean Monaghan win a eight round unanimous decision in the cruiserweight division and then a full 12 round fight Rocky Martinez and the split decision draw retains his title in a terrific boxing contest with one Carlos Burgos. This is in the fourth round now. Kennedy Golovkin has outboxed Gabriel Rosado. And again this was one of these uh, fights where they talked about the plan B and C and I haven't seen any change of plans uh, of I, Rosado yet. I haven't either and uh, I think in the third round, the last round, Rosado felt the power, and as, as it goes, you know, this is the fourth round. He'll, he's going to feel it more. You see, look at him. He's he's standing there now, and that's what Golovkin wants. That's when he's going to take advantage, working behind that jab. Golovkin hasn't had that big blast to the body yet either that you would expect could hurt Rosado as well. But Golovkin and has a lot in his arsenal, and he will surprise him at some stage, I'm afraid, for Rosado. Because Gary has just really been so ineffective so far. Well, oh, he has come to fight. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. He's prepared to fight. But again, he's getting beat to the punch when Rosado uses his reach and height. The punch goes over the shoulder of Golovkin. The jab cut the bit of the chin of Golovkin. But Golovkin just, you know, he just keeps the pressure on Rosado unmercifully. Rosado has got two seconds to grab a breath that this guy's not on top of him. Yeah, he's not giving him any room. And I can't tell now if there's another cut below the eye or that's the, the blood from the corner of the eye that uh, happened back in the second round. Yeah, Rosado is not doing anything kind of to neutralize that that pressure that Golovkin pressure He needs a, a more steady jab more harder jab to get some respect from Golovkin And I just don't see that happening Blood coming from the nose of Rosado as well his face is getting busted up talking about breaking a guy down Look at the jabs of Rosado all falling short all the blood that's all over the shoulder of uh, Golovkin is the blood from the face of uh, Rosado. A little bit of puffiness in the eyes of uh, the champion Golovkin. Oh, look at that left hook and the straight left hand again. And Rosado continues to miss shots and miss opportunities. Look at Rosado. He looks red. Yeah, well, he's red with blood, that's red. for sure. His face is all busted up. But nothing to the point where we got to consider stopping the fight. Oh, he, he finally it. catches he Golovkin it. with a shot. Now the problem is, you know, they're trying to motivate Rosano, but he's really getting beat up. Yeah, he is. As we go to the fifth round. I mean, he was breaking him down. By the third round, he started breaking down poor uh, Gabriel. And here he goes again. Oh. These are solid shots. And now he's in, you can see Golovkin is sitting down more on them shots. He is because Rosado, you know, kind of stunned. He's like a uh, deer in the headlights, sort of. As this guy, Steve Smoker, says, stop, 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 and they uh, pay attention to him. Doesn't have to come in. See, and I see Rosado, his legs ain't the same anymore. I mean, he, that's why he's standing there, being more stationary target for Golovkin. Golovkin, should I say. I think Golovkin could uh -huh. catch up with him in this very round because he's really, as you said, sitting down in the punches. Oh. He missed that big left hook that he threw right back. But it's the constant pressure. The constant pressure. Bro. He caught him with an uppercut and Golovkin shakes his head. No, you didn't catch me. You know, it's just, it's scary for a fighter like, like Rosado, you know. I mean, 
Golovkin is strong, he's powerful, he's in good shape. I mean, you hit him, it's like, you know, you're hitting a brick wall that just keeps coming at you. Meanwhile, all of these shots oh, are thrown trying. just one glancing blow. Rosado is trying extremely hard. Remember, this guy's from Philadelphia, and Philadelphia is only a short train ride from New York City, so there's a lot of people that are here to see Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Rosado fight. Rosado just got hit with a double hook, and he shaked his head. He said no. That was some power behind them shots. There goes that left hook again of Golovkin. Up the middle now. Downstairs. Uppercuts. Oh. Here he is putting the pressure on. Gabriel Rosado. Rosado taking a lot of punishment in this round. Yeah, Golovkin is really mixing it up now. You know, he's changing up his combinations. Left hook. Downstairs. Going up the middle. He's a good fighter. Well, he's a terrific fighter. He's a terrific champion. We're going to be seeing a lot more of him, I'm sure. It's K2 Promotions working in conjunction with top rank boxing. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of uh, Kennedy Golovkin. Blood's really coming from the nose of uh, Gabe Rosado right now. I mean, yeah. it's really flowing down. Yeah, Rosado's punches, they're just not doing anything to Golovkin to get some kind of respect or back him up. Twenty seconds to go in the fifth round. This is kind of a better round in some ways for Rosado, but he's still getting beat up. He's taking a lot of punches in this round. Closing seconds now of the fifth. And you just wonder how much before this accumulation of punches that Golovkin is landing can Rosado take as the bell ends the fifth round. All right, we're coming up to round six, and again, the question is, how much more punishment will the corner of Gabriel Rosado let him take? Neutral, doctor intervention. Steve Smoger has asked for the doctor to come in and look at that cut, and it's a bad cut over the left eye of Rosado. Doctor says, okay. Steve Smoger right on top of that, but he'll be watching that eye closely. That, by the way, folks, is a bad cut in that left eye lid. The corner has done a nice job keeping it closed, and here is Golovkin on the assault. And we see Rosado trying to hold on. Well, Rosado has really maybe got a second win trying to do something, realizing that his time may be short because of this bad cut. A couple of more shots on top of that. Those are hard shots. Go behind the head. Oh, yeah. He's Steve Smoger warns uh, Golovkin, don't hit him behind the head, but he was tied up in there and he had the hand free. Well, I'll tell you what, Rosado. Yeah, Rosado's fighting like a warrior. He's trying his best. Doctor comes back up the stairs. Steve says, okay. Steve Smoger, that is, the referee says, okay. He's just giving him a bit of time to recover because of the illegal blows. He didn't take any points away. So time is back in in the sixth round. And Golovkin, like the jackrabbit, right on top of him again, pumping that piston-like jab in the face of Gabriel step, Rosado. Step, step, step. step, step, step. Notice uh, the veteran referee Steve Smoger getting more active coming in because he wants to see that eye of uh, Gabe Rosado. Make sure it doesn't get too, too damaged where he'll have to stop the fight. And in this case, stopped by a punch. It's a technical knockout victory for uh, Gennady Golovkin. Big right hand lands again. Golovkin takes a big uh, deep breath, comes in with the left hook. All this stuff that Rosado does underneath, nothing's affecting. No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, he, he can't stop a Golovkin. Look at Train coming right at you. And all that blood that's all over both of their bodies and, and trunks and every place else is from the eye and the nose of Rosado. Golovkin continues to use that as a jab, a half hook, an uppercut, that left hand. Look at the land that big blast with the right hand. Boy, I mean, this guy's a smart fighter. He even uses his right hand to try and cross and nail him on top of that eye again. Yeah, good defense by Golovkin, good counter punch, and good 
heavy-handed shots. If Rosano gets and knocked down, I, I don't you know whether he gets knocked down or not. I don't see any way that that eye can hold up. That's a bad cut. I've seen yeah. a lot of cuts, and uh, I wouldn't be saying too much about. But that's a bad cut in a bad spot. I agree. I don't. I don't see the fight going 12 rounds. I think it'll. Rosado is either going to get knocked out or they're going to stop the fight. Look, look how bad he's bleeding. Look at his face. I mean, it's really coming okay. down. His corner should really think about stopping the fight because he's lost every round of the fight so far. And he can't touch Golovkin. And he's really cut bad. We'll see if he's able to come out of the corner after the sixth round or if he has to retire or the doctors do him a favor and stop him. I mean, thing to do. All right. The doctor was in, so they get a little bit of extra time taking a look at that cut. And that doctor will take a look at that. He wants to stop it, I think. But he says no. And the fight will continue into the seventh round. Well, there's no question that Gabriel Rosado is a warrior because he is some kind of busting up. That eye is as bad as I've seen, and I've seen fights stop with a lot less cuts than that. I would give a Rosado this round for him to do something, make something happen, but it, you know, it's impossible. I mean, you've seen the shots that he landed. He can't stop. He's not enough. He can't to get respect from he, Golovkin. He, he can't hold him off no. whatsoever. Golovkin just keeps on coming. I mean, he's not showing anything. Look, look, he's just in survival mode, and, and he's, they need to stop the fight here. Well, one thing for sure, Steve Smoker has got a lot of experience, and if he sees that this guy can't defend himself and keeps taking blows, he'll stop the fight. He won't depend on the corner of the doctor, but, you know, the corner's got a responsibility, and this guy's pretty busted up. Because it's oh, academic it. to fight. That's it. It should be it. Ah, uh, it's a matter of time, guys. Oh. And big uppercut in there, snaps the head back of Gabriel Rosado. One thing Golovkin hasn't been able to do is drop him. He's got that face totally busted up. But, you know, you said from the get-go, almost the second round on, that he's been breaking Rosado down, and he continues to do just that. Oh, look at these shots. And Golovkin is just really something else. He's really on top of this guy. But Rosado really doesn't have much of a shot right now. And that, that's Rosado's blood on Golovkin, on oh, his gloves and on his body. All the blood that you see is oh. from the eye of Golovkin and from the nose. Just breaking him down round by round. Oh, Dr. look at that Jordan, jab. Come back, come over here. He's asking for the doctor to come around and somebody from the commission to take a look at this guy. Yeah, they're going to they, gonna stop. They're going to stop it. Well, there's a... Uh, a little bit less than a minute to go through the seventh round, and I don't think you'll see anything after this. Of course, I said that after the sixth round. And believe me, folks, this being my 936 world title fight, I've seen a lot of cuts, and I haven't seen any any worse than this one. Blood's flying all over ringside here. Yeah, we need umbrellas up here. There they go. Somebody's going to stop That's the fight. That's it. Finally, the commissioner goes up, but the referee doesn't see it. And that's it. The fight is all over. They've stopped the fight. What happened was the corner stopped the fight. The commissioner went up on the apron. That's the proper way to stop the fight. So Billy Briscoe finally says, no, I've seen enough. And Billy Briscoe is the one that called to stop the yeah, fight. Yeah, I don't blame him. I think he made the right decision. Now, I want to make it clear to the fans that throwing the towel in means nothing. The only reason why the... Uh, Inspected through the towel and was to get the attention of Steve Smoger, the referee whose back was to the corner. All right, here we go. This is how it all started. And right away, you'll see Gennady Golovkin starts landing shots and Rosado unable to really land too much at all. Gennady touches him up with the left hand, blasts him with the right hand, comes yeah. right back, nails him again. Look at that shot that almost dropped him. And as the rounds continue now, the blood continues to flow. Exactly, and it didn't take long. By the third round, Golovkin finally cut the distance, and as you see, Rosado was just a bloody mess. There we see that solid jab of Golovkin, accurate power shots. 
He's got Rosado all over the place. There we see the top fly in. All right, Michael Buffer standing by. I'm here at Madison Square Garden. Referee Steve Smoger officially calls a halt to the bout. And the official time is 2 minutes 46 seconds, round number 7. The winner by TKO victory and still WBA IBO middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple J Golovkin. So just a terrific fight. Let's get a comment from Christina. I haven't been able to get Christina Poncher in here too much. So Christina, you saw Golovkin, you saw Rosado.